Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and today is a product review of the Brocade Mobility RFS 4000 Wireless Controller. So, some highlights. Enabling, it enables a secure and reliable wireless enterprise for campus data centers and large deployments. I'm excited about this bad boy coming into the office because, again, uh, on the last product review, I showed you guys about uh, 7131 Brocade access points. This bad boy right here is what is going to be talking to the access points, and I need to configure it. So, some of the highlights on this guy. Uh, it provides a reliable, high-performance wireless LAN or uh, communication platform for unifying data, voice, and video services for large-scale enterprise environments. It maximizes the 802.11n performance by forwarding traffic directly to its destination, eliminating control controller bottlenecks. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, this is the guy right here. Oh, it's awesome! So beautiful. Okay, it's. Uh, it includes advanced wireless features that are standard in the operating system for better return on investment, which is ROI. ROI, yeah. Um, uh, it uses a smart RF technology to provide a dynamic RF tuning for optimum wireless performance. Okay. Got the console port, console cable right here, which go here. That's pretty cool. And you also got your power supply. Oh, power supply, which is also cool. Also, it also integrates Internet Protocol Security (IP CERC), uh, virtual private network, VPN gateway to secure all traffic. Okay, now. The deployment of this bad boy, it provides central management of Brocade Mobility Access Points deployed locally or at a remote location. It's basically a plug and play deployment over a Layer 2 or a Layer 3 network, so which is pretty cool. Uh, the access points that this bad boy supports is uh, the Brocade Mobility 650 or the Mobility 7131, which I showed you guys on the last uh, product review. Uh, it does a 802.11a, b, g, n, which is pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited about that. It also supports IPv6. The clients up to 8,000 users per controller and 96,000 users per cluster. Wow, that's a lot. So that is a lot, guys, a lot. So a close look on this bad boy. It's, uh, it's PoE powered. PoE is basically power over Ethernet. So I can actually have five access points power over Ethernet, which is pretty cool. I think in the last video I mentioned that we got six of them. So I had, I, we actually had to purchase a PoE switch. Uh, that's going to be another product review. Uh, we got a S, S, R, uh, SFP port. This is the uplink ports. I think you could basically do fiber on this. That's awesome. Got the console. Got a USB port right there. Got an express card on the side light indicators, fan, temperature, system one, two. Got a fan on the side. It's a fan right here. And on the back, you got the power. And that's about it, man. This is, uh, and you got a little, haven't seen these on the controller for a while. This is uh, to lock it. And uh, we actually ordered some brackets for it. The brackets do not come with the product, which kind of sucks. The only thing that the box comes with is the console port, uh, Ethernet through console, serial port in other words, and then you got this big brick right here. That's about it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on the Brocade Mobility RFS 4000 wireless controller. Uh, pretty soon in the future videos I'm going to show you guys how to configure this with an access point and hopefully you guys tune in. Please like, please comment, please Twitter, please Facebook it, please subscribe. That always that was that's a big help for me guys, especially the the big thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy and I catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.